place. Um, time for another uh, stitch and shed. Mm. And some coffee. Oh, I have the cam the coffee behind the camera here, so. Um, yeah, um, as you might know, I chose, no, I didn't choose, um, I need to retighten that, um, my spinning wheel chose resistance training uh, which is also which is um, I have a wheel for the Haid uh, designs that I want to stitch on and the wheel chose um, resistance training by um, Christians and James C. Christiansen and um, I was thrilled to know uh, that I was going to stitch on that because I love that design. However, it is all black background and I had the, um, the progress I had since earlier was like half a page of the first page so it was just black so I was thinking I don't think that you guys want to watch me stitch black background so I actually decided to go back to my once upon a fairy tale it's the super size with the max colors uh, to just stitch a little while with you so um, Let's see, I think there's a line here, so it should be, um, all straight down maybe. I'm just marking off on Pattern Keeper, I have that here in front of me. And since they've switched out the 09 in all their patterns on Hade, I decided to import the new um, pattern. So I have a little bit of a problem figuring out which uh, what I have stitched on the new pattern so it might take a little while but anyway so I'm gonna stitch with this the part I have a part thread here and that should be 930 Try to angle my camera a little bit different because I like to have my hand here when I'm stitching and then you won't see anything so I try to put it a little bit more to the left so I'm I need to learn to move my hand so there was just that one there but I think I'm gonna should I just jump over to that one there yes I should so I have another one here. I feel a little bit scared stitching once upon a fairy tale with the max colors. I do. We started off on a kind of bad side, so. I don't know what it will bring me. So that was those 
stitches in that grid and I want to park it. It feels as though the lines in the gridded fabric has kind of disappeared. So I find it difficult to see where I'm at. So I have some gray stitches there and that's the end of the grid. And then it's uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. So it should be next to that one. Okay, that's good to know. Yes, come on, I need to park it. Why isn't it working? Oh, because I haven't set the, I need to set that thing. Uh, double click on a single stitch. No, double click on a, s in markup mode, park thread in lower left corner. Yes, now I can park it there. Come on. Why is this doing this to me now? Why easy when we're doing some YouTube here? So let's pick up the next part thread. And that is color 28. And there's quite a few of these here in this grid. Oh, I have two of them parked. Can that truly be? Okay. The lighting was a little bit bad here. Whoops. Oh. All right. My lamp just fell down. I wonder. I thought it was. Oh my god. Let's let's try again. Okay. I don't have a good setup for stitching like this in the bedroom when my husband is home as well. I'm stitching two here, right. And then I'm gonna go down here. I need to lift away the thread here. Stitching two more here. Yeah, today my back is really killing me. 
I'm sitting too much and I'm not working out. So let's mark them off so I don't lose my way. So I'm t stitching two down. Yeah, today's Sunday. It's the 26th of July. Then I'm going down here. I'm gonna stitch. Now let me go down over here. one and go up. Yeah, that's better. There. Then I saw that I stitched that one as well. So I started stitch stitching on uh, resistance training yesterday. But it was like, I guess I get easily bored because it was just black. So I didn't stitch on it that long, I think. I don't think so anyway. So I guess, um, I'm just gonna try to finish that first page of black and just leave it at that, you know. So where do I go next? I should go over here, but then I have a lot of sparked threads over here. Okay, so I stitch that one there. And then one and two to the left. So today uh, in the morning and uh, not afternoon, like just during the day today, I've been stitching on my Mirabilia. And I thought I was going to do a lot of progress on her today, but I guess uh, I'm, I think I'm, I'm really tired. So I just stitch a little, drink a little bit of coffee, watch the floss tube. Whoops, did I just move the camera? I'm sorry if I did. So that's those and let me go downward then. So it should be here, right? Yes. Um, I know I mentioned um, the, that I I listen to audiobooks uh, sometimes when I stitch, and uh, I started listening to started listening to Chris Carter's book called The Crucifix Killer and I finished that book last night while stitching it was really good um, so I'm actually I'm really looking forward to start the next book but I think I think I think in between I need to listen to um the fourth book of the Hunger Games. It was called, uh, what's it called? The Story of Songbirds and Snakes. I've written it down here. Um, let me check my book. The Ballads of Songbirds and Snakes. 
yeah I'm very curious I've started listening to it before but since the book is about no um, I mean President No uh, I didn't like just stretch listen to it but I think I want to do that now because I'm very curious what the story will be about okay the next color I'm gonna stitch is 327 This one otherwise I usually listen to Swedish uh, criminal books I like them quite a lot so but I was thinking well if the Swedish authors are good at it the Americans should be as well so I was looking for a non-Swedish writer or author and that's how I found um, Chris Carter so I see that I have one there does that mean I think it means I've just made a mistake but nobody will know stitch it here and then I think there was one down here then there is another stitch over here so I guess this is what it's, it's a little bit dangerous with pattern keeper that you you look for where the stitches are on the app and then you don't count and if that stitch is placed wrong then everything else will be wrong right so let's see there's one two and three I'm gonna part the thread now and then there's that one there so it should be under there That looks about right. I'm gonna mark it off. Like so. Then I saw that I've stitched those. So what's the next color I parked? The next one that is parked is 3042. <coughs> Mirabilia, uh, my portrait of Veronica. Very beautiful design. So I see that I've parked one there as well. Okay, so let's just go down and stay in the grid. Um, so one here, jump one. Stitch two. Then I see that mm. let's see, 
I have some unstitched st stitches here. That one and that one. another one and uh, I stitched a little bit more on um my long dog sampler the pandemic i had a little bit a little section in the pattern i felt like i wanted to to finish before i left it and uh, i'm very pleased with the, the choices of colors i made so and it was fun to try sulky threads yeah for sure so let's see I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna part that one there. Like so. Now. What else? I wrote down a little, a few notes just to see what I should there's anything I should talk about otherwise this is like <laughs> this is like the, the worst pattern to stitch on when chatting because I get very unfocused when talking and uh, <laughs> I don't want to make mistakes so I get quiet instead and just uh, try to focus on the stitching um, but uh, yeah, patterns, my God. I try to, I'm just gonna take a sip. Mm. I love coffee. Um, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna buy any more Heaven and Earth designs, or at least not for a very long while because I'm not gonna start any. I have like already, s you know, made a plan for all the patterns I wanted to stitch. So I can't go get new ones and, you know, make new starts. So no, I haven't bought any, but they released some new patterns and one of the patterns are just so beautiful. It was an artist. I have seen one of the uh, designs before, but I thought it was a bit too, uh, too nude for my taste, or at least, you know, to you know, if I would ever, 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 ever finish. That's kind of funny that I'm saying nude because of softer steel. Anyway, but yeah, um, the, the design is called Deliciosa or Deliciosa. I don't know how you pronounce that. And the, the designer was Helen Beland or Helen Beland. It's a, a um, young woman sitting on a fountain uh, with some grapes in her hand. And she has this beautiful white dress and there is a white dove coming in um, and the water is like flowing in the fountain and the sun is hitting her to the side. Yeah 
so beautiful really like breathtaking piece of art and then you know sometimes i can just you know feel how it would feel to put in stitch after stitch on that dress for example or her face because her face was so beautifully i i'm sure it's like an oil painting or something oh, it's so beautiful and then i just have to i cannot help myself i just have to get it but i haven't bought it yet but i will now i'm gonna park this thread um so it's three and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. I'm just gonna thread the next and mark off my pattern. So what's next? Is it that three again? 3042. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And oh, yeah, talking about uh, heaven and earth and uh, patterns and the 0809 uh, situation, uh, somebody um, left a comment on my video that I could just go in and edit this pattern for the once, once upon a time once upon a fairy tale and just uh, uh, replaced 09 with uh, 3371 but I was a bit unsure if they had just replaced all the 09 with more 3371 or if they had actually kind of recharted it and hold on a sec Yeah, I'm back. Oh, I had to leave. Um, I heard my husband that he went down to um, to do the laundry, and I wanted to help. Let's see, where was I? Yeah, and then we went out with the dogs. So. Um. I stitched the symbol three, and that's thirty forty two. So um, yeah, and the sky is like open. Seriously, we didn't walk for for long, and we were like wet as if we had just taken a shower. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the weave, but it's not so tight. I don't like this Q-snap very much. And... It's as if I'm using a um, <coughs> Larry stand. And uh, I think that one is causing, and the weight of the weave of the fabric in the Q-snap is doing that, you know, if uh, the Q-snap is hanging like this, it starts tilting and that makes the tension go away. So one, did I stitch one over? No. I need to frog. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> patterns. I think I was talking about heaven and earth patterns. So I'm 
gonna stitch one here just under the part thread and my lamp is like on the wrong side of my hand so my hand is creating a shadow yes that that that's a little bit annoying anyway I want that new pattern however it's such a beautiful design and then there is a couple of more patterns I really feel like I need and it's not that I just need them in my collection I kind of like need to start them <laughs> So that's a big problem. Um, there is the one that is called A Place of Her Own. It's a woman sitting... I don't know if it's like... It's not in a sofa, but she's sitting, sitting and reading. And she has lots of books around her. And the detail in that piece is just overwhelming, really. Her dress, the carpet she's sitting on, or, or where all the books are. And um, she has some, uh, what do you call that? Stuff hanging on the wall behind her which is just, everything is full of detail. You don't need a super sized or a max color or anything. The detail is just stunning. So that's the thing I feel I need. So that's also that guy, James C. Christensen. Christiansen. Um, marking off <clears throat> and so he's the one who's doing the resistance training piece he has that that one and that one is very I think it's very different I'm gonna retighten this this thing is annoying me uh, whoops the camera is falling I'm sorry if you're getting seasick I don't know why that happened and um but he has another design there which i just find so cool it's called responsible man unfortunately there is a lot of black background on that as well and yeah i could stitch those designs on a black fabric but mm. I don't know how uh, Honey Groza, that's your uh, Instagram name, how you do it. But my Lowry stand don't want to hold my big pieces. I just I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Anyway, yes, responsible man. It's also one I feel is so cool. I would really like that one. So that's three patterns. I might just get, we'll see. I will let you know. So the next color is 160. one stitch there and then we're going down here and we're doing one stitch here and then it's time to park Here. 
<clears throat> that is 28 again. Another pattern I saw on Flosstube uh, it was the um, kitten stitcher. Kitten stitcher, yeah, I think that's her name. Kitten stitcher. She showed like her top ten finishes, I think. And one of them was a design I've seen it before. It's by the Primitive Hair, and it's called Spooky countdown that one was really nice it looked like a lot of fun to stitch and we're gonna park this one over here right please say I'm gonna park it there no I'm not gonna park it there so I parked that one so it has to be yes it's here Yeah, that looked like a lot of fun to stitch, actually. Yeah. And I asked, uh, left a comment on Nicole Apartments, um, uh, floss, I don't know if it's like, yeah, floss tube, um, asking since, uh, she lives in the UK, I was wondering if she could, you know, recommend a place in Europe where we can, you know, get the, uh, not the Alsh, Alsher de Soir, Soy, well, those silk threads, 103. Mm. and she asked where I lived I said Sweden but I knew that this was not going to be possible to get here so and that's what she came to conclude as well uh, but uh, she recommended two places in in England so I think it was like Fobbles and West End or something so I will have to ask them for specifics. And so that's gonna hurt when uh, the UK leave uh, the Union. Yeah. So I only have... No, I have more park threads. Or is it this one here? That's color five, five, four. I feel a little bit stressed doing this video because there's so much confetti and I know I want to get a lot of it done within an hour. And I know that's not gonna happen. That's just one stitch, right? Yeah. And where is the next one? It's over here, so I have to park that thread. So that is one, two, and three. One, two, and three. The third grid. And three from the bottom. One, two, and three. The next park thread. That is 159. So yeah, my mom and my younger sister came to visit um, Friday after work. And uh, we were having tacos. We're gonna watch a movie. It's a Swedish movie. It's about um, a 
father who mm, likes to wear women clothes and the story is about how he makes the decision to to tell the children and he has grown children and make the choice to wear it even you know outside the home and what happens and all this and it's a very nice story it was very nice so uh, they came over to watch so now I'm which I'm just stitching here I forget to talk when tell you what I'm using so this is 37.99 it's a dark gray yeah so that was a very nice movie but before we started to watch the movie we were having tacos and my younger sister was gonna pour some uh, what is it root no beetroot beetroot sauce which are in a bottle and my mom had told me that sometimes the pressure in that bottle gets very high <laughs> and I'm like um, setting the table and I just see pink drops of beetroot sauce swishing in front of my eyes onto walls tables roofs clothes <laughs> it got everywhere I swear oh my god and I'm just laughing at it now because <laughs> it was like insane Oh my god so yeah everyone started to <laughs> to clean the kitchen oh sh my god yeah uh, that's not so bad uh, the worst thing was the roof because the paint in the roof like kind of sucked it in right so yeah we'll see if I we can find some some something to wash it off with so now I'm done with all the park threads in the grid and as you can see there is still some um, colors I haven't uh, there were that there were no park threads in so I want to start filling that in um, So I have my thread mess here. I've come to realize I don't like to keep the threads like this. Once I start to stitch, I want to have it on tear, like floss drops. I would really like that. I would really learn, like to learn how to make them myself. Yeah, I would like that. And then like, or using floss bags and keep them in a ring or a couple of rings because there are so many colors. Anyway, yeah, Linda stopped talking and started stitching. So now I need to go on a thread hunt. 9.39, well, that's gonna be easy because I saw the card right here. No, I guess I didn't. And it shouldn't be on this card either. Oh, this is what I hate about this. I know there's a card full of that color somewhere. 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 There's 9.39. It's gonna be the last card I pull out. You just wait. And I don't have, I don't have that card. And now my camera falls. 
where have I put that card? I know it was... Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble now. Where have I put... Maybe I have something in my spare. Dark blue. No. I really need to. I need to go to look. No, you know, guys, let's, let's do another color. Yeah, let's do another color. The floss, the card is somewhere. I've put it somewhere. 934 then. No. Oh. Yes. I wonder where I put that. I know I had it like for days laying around and then I thought I went and put it into the bag. What did I say? 934. Okay. 934. And I realized on a floss card like this, at least on the ones that I get from Barb, she leaves these ends and you need to cut them took a while for me to realize that I need to cut them and then I can pull a thread straight from the card. So now we're getting the scissors. Hold our breath, pray to the Lord that I'm not cutting it wrong. So, so now the ends are like this, right? So I take my needle and then I grab one strand of floss and I pull. Ta I heard somebody say, you know, you just you can pull a th strand of thread straight from the cards. I'm like, how are they doing that? I don't get it. But then, but then I realized how you're going to do it. So this strand is a bit long, but anyway, and it's over here and I'm starting with the loop, single strand a loop on 25 count. So the needle through the loop, pull, a lifesaver. Sometimes it doesn't hold, so then you just have to redo it. And there, that was just one stitch with that color. <laughs> Ain't that just amazing? And then I need to jump down two grids, one and two. And then it's three, one, two, and three, and one down. Yes, that looks about right. This is how it is to stitch confetti on heaven and earth but it's so soothing it's just i'm not complaining i'm not complaining at all i love it i love 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 it so the next color is 38 35 
38 to 35. Imagine how many plus bodies buddies you would need for the 235 uh, max color um, editions. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I think, I mean, that's almost like all the colors in the <laughs> DMC collection. But I'm thinking... Um, I know that Michelle Bendy Stitchy, she had a floss body hanging behind her in a room where she has the whole collection. So that would be something like that. That would look cool, right? I think so. But it would be organized, you know? Uh, you, I mean, you would find your colors straight away. I wonder if you can hear the rain outside. And you're like, yeah, if you stop talking, we would. <laughs> um, my, my daughter she loves to paint she loves acrylic and she's been really spending some time doing that now and she asked me yesterday if we could go to the store and uh, go get her some canvas for her to paint and some some more paint and stuff so yeah how can you say no to that one, two, three, and four. That's where I'm parking it. The needle minders are very good to use also to kind of, you know, pull your thread to all the part threads. So I usually have like, if I'm really going at it, four or five needle minders around where I set my threads to. I like that. So. If you don't have any needle minders, I would. That was. I would. That would definitely be a tool I would invest in. So the next color will be zero two. One of the new colors. Where are you on my many floss cards? I wonder how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 cards. It's not that. It's not that. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. I don't see any low numbers. confused and that's just one bag I have one more bag of thread that could explain something you know so what do I have a bag with another 12 cards in it okay I need to go get them I'll be right back okay Seriously? I had another bag of floss. Yeah. For this. For this one only. So here's like another 12 pieces of floss. Yeah. And here's the 939 I was talking about. But now I needed number two.
so my daughter's uh, classmate's mom called today was wondering if we were like kind of busy and I'm like no we're not doing much because we shouldn't really you know run around we'll do the 939 later um, so she asked if um, Mina would like to go to Gothenburg with them to uh, it's called uh, Prison Island so it's a place where you like I think you're gonna solve mysteries and stuff to get out of the rooms, I think. So they was wondering if, if it was okay to bring her. We were like, yeah, as long as you know. Wash your hands and don't touch your face and keep distance, we're fine with it. So they might be going because of the weather. So nothing else to do I often wonder why um, DMC expanded their colors I mean is it really necessary I was happy with what they had <laughs> No. So yeah, but I'm going back to work tomorrow. Oh, hello. We have some. stitching two here there is one there and there's one here so we do that oh my god I'm getting so hungry I don't know what to eat. I'm like in no mood of cooking. No mood for cooking at all. Oh, you might wonder if I'm participating in the 24 hour challenge. And yes, I am. but it's not going that well. Um, because I get interrupted all the time and I'm very, I'm, I feel like, you know, we have to walk the dogs, I need to go get some coffee and I need to talk with my husband, we go shopping, I need to sleep. I think I would, I'm getting like tops 18 hours max, max 18 hours. So I'm actually wondering or thinking that, so now I'm doing the 939 here. The next time I'm just gonna I mean, the next time we have the 24 hour challenge, I think I'm actually just gonna take the day off on Friday and try to get, you know, at least 12 hours that day when I'm like home alone. I think so. Where's my microphone? Is it like up in my neck?
So I would rather start my threads by running them underneath the other the other threads, but I don't want to flip the frame all the time. So I'm doing the loop. Secured. Yeah. So then I'm gonna park it. There was like only one stitch. And so it's one, two, three. One, two, and three. And then there is one, two, three stitch there. And what about underneath? It doesn't look like it. No, because there should be some another one. What's that? I don't think that's the same color. Yeah, right. So it's not going to be parked there. And those ones there are stitched. So now I don't know. One grid and two grids and the one here. I think that one is also stitched there. So I can't park it there. So what? I need to end it? Uh. What about over here? One, two, and three. Maybe I don't have anything stitched here. Let's see. Where's the line? The line is there. Oh, I think I can park it there. But is it so? Three, four, and five. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is so confusing. I hate this. What color is that? The line doesn't help me. it here and we'll see what happens I think I'm gonna like take a screenshot from the other pattern and see if I can figure out what I've stitched this is just messing with my head okay I have one more in the grid and that's 648 It's back, 648. Yep. And I'm cutting the ends. So like when you have the threads like this, it would be so much easier and faster to cross country stitch 
not park. But when you have lots of threads parked, I mean, it's just, you know, you take that thread which is parked and you go. You don't have to pick anything new. So there's like pros and cons to everything. But I mean, this is the max color, so it's going to be like this the whole way. Yay. I still think it's more fun to to look at this and actually also see that it's not that bad. I mean, if you really, really, really want to stitch something like this. Then confetti shouldn't, you know, stop you. Just take one color at a time, one stitch at a time, and you'll be fine. Okay, so now I need to find out where I'm gonna park this thing. That's the grid under there, and so I need to jump over here, and then it should be. Should be here. There's one park thread there, yes. So it's under there. Thank God. Oops, sorry. Yay! You guys, I just finished the grid just finished the 100 stitches in that grid. Well, I didn't stitch all 100 because I had plenty of them stitched already. But that's a little progress. I'm happy. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna fill in those little, uh, like off camera. You don't have to watch that because I'm gonna hunt for threads on my floss cards. So I'm just gonna fill these out um, and hopefully try to figure out a bit more uh, on the pattern, which stitches I've done so I can fill them out. Um, yeah, I would need that. And uh, I don't think I will stitch more on this piece this week. Uh, but it's a small progress. I'm happy. I'm very happy. So, no. No, you have to stick around a little bit more. Because I wrote one more thing down. It's nothing important. It's just, you know, to keep the conversation going, right? So let's pick color 156. Um, that's just, this is just a whole floss card with 310. Which color did I say? 156. I have that one here. Yeah, I um, was watching floss tubes, surprisingly, uh, and I'm watching this lady who's, um, why is the microphone getting up in my neck, my neck, my throat? So this is, this, this is the one. She's selling her house. Um, 
Si Suk. What's her name? Si Suk Stitch. A very nice lady to watch. She always has so much to share and talk about. Mm. And she showed her stitch planner where she writes down everything she plans when it comes to stitching. And she writes down every minute she stitched on each project and she calculates and adds up and marks out when she's done and everything very very nice planner and i was totally enabled i won't be like planning out the stuff like she does so now i see that i have two part threads beside each other but that's that that's not showing on my pattern. <sighs> why, 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 why? There's more than that. That's not there. stitch the eights here and I've stitched that one and that one Stitched that one. Because there's only two here. And then I'm parking it here. So one of those two party threads there are wrongly part, but I'm going to figure that out as I go. Yes, so I got, I ordered one of those planners as well, but I'm not going to like count minutes and stuff. I will just, um, I would like to write down what I have been working on. Kind of keep track on that that would be nice like a journal to go back and look at all right well that will just be all for the stitching i don't feel that this is working so good with the q snap here it's just moving and it just annoys me um but uh i know it's a long whip and stitch but hey you need to see in real time as well how it is to stitch these this wonderful piece so but i'm gonna work on uh, filling these gaps out today and 
you will see me in the next floss tube so have a good week take care stay safe thank you for watching bye